I just started using this curling iron probably like six 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 ish months ago, and it's from T three two, not T three two, but T three as well. <laughs> and this is what it looks like. The thing that I like about this curling iron is you can set it to different heat settings and it'll go to that heat setting every day and you can kind of set it so it's perfect for your hair type and um, there's instruction in the instruction manual it goes through how to set set the curling iron so you can always change it and always reset it um I always like to leave mine on the lowest setting just because I don't like my hair to be super curled and I also don't want it to be damaged so I like to leave it on a lower setting and I don't care if my curls fall out because I like my hair to look a little messy which when I was younger like messy hair would drive me crazy but now I love just like an effortless hairstyle that you're like, was she in the wind? Did she just roll out of bed? I'm not quite sure. Her hair looks good. Did she try? I don't know. So, like, I just like it to be just, oh, so that was the noise. You guys heard it. So the curling iron is heated up, and I'll show you what I do to curl my hair. I don't really want to curl my hair right now because I already, this is second day hair for me, and I don't want to damage my hair. But anyway, I'm just going to show you quickly of how I curl it. Um, so I just... I know, I'll just turn it off, and then I won't singe my hair off. But anyway, so this curling iron, I think, is an inch, an inch and a quarter. I My hair is all on the shorter side, so when I use a larger barrel, it doesn't, like, do the curls I want. It kind of just um, makes it curl under, and it's not that cute. So anyway, I usually grab a section about this large, and I will go like this with the curling iron, wrap it once, move it down, like twist it like that. So I have like this little twist in it and then I'll just let it go. So then I'll just leave it. And then I'll alternate ways I curl my hair, like directions. So I go like this. Oh, I went the same direction, sorry guys. But anyway, you get the point. And then I kind of like let it go like that. And I'll do this around my entire head. I don't really care if I miss pieces. It's just like, it's a mess and I don't really care. I just like do whatever. And then whatever pieces I don't like, I'll go back through and adjust. But um, some days I even just like to give a little, a little flip at the bottom like this because one side of my hair likes to flip out and the other side likes to flip under. So depending on what it feels like doing that day, I might just like flip out one side but I don't know, I just, I just kind of curl random pieces and then do my hair that way. There's no method to my madness. It's just <laughs> kind of like each day I just curl whatever hair is not cooperating. But this curling iron I actually really, really like. Okay, so any questions about curling hair, curling iron, anything like that, just let me know but we're going to move on. I wanna make sure it's turned off cause I don't wanna put it, I have it like sitting on a little wood table over here and I don't wanna like leave a mark on there. Okay, so hair is curled and a lot of people like to use hairspray or something to hold their hair, like to hold the curls, hold the style, things like that. And I actually don't like to use hairspray and I don't like to use dry shampoo. I don't like the way it feels on my scalp. It's just a personal preference and I'll show you what I like to use instead. 
And this is some, I don't usually use anything, but on the days I do want to put something in my hair, I use this product. 